Hello, everybody. Uh, today I'm here in Santiago, Chile at the National Aerospace Museum. The museum boasts an intriguing and meticulously curated assortment of military and civilian aircraft from various origins, which were once employed in Chile. The collection includes a considerable number of original aircraft, complemented by a handful of replicas representing early models. Aviation enthusiasts and those with even a fleeting fascination in aircraft or 20th century Chilean history will find this collection to be a, an absolute must-see. Situated at the historic Los Cerillos Airport, the museum offers a remarkable experience. I'll put timestamps below just in case you want to jump to a particular aircraft or display. Most of the information on this video was taken from the museum's literature. I also used Wikipedia to fill in a few gaps. Let's start with all the aircrafts in front of the main hall. The C-47 Skytrain. During the World War II, this reliable and versatile workhorse played a crucial role for numerous nations. Originating from the Douglas DC-3, this specific airplane was received by the United States Air Force in 1942. Two years later, it became a part of the 436th Troop Carrier Group, and on the night of June 5 to 6, 1944, it carried parachutists from the renowned 101st Airborne Division to their destination at the St. Mary Glass in Normandy. The C-47s remain in service with the Chilean Air Force until 1980. The Super King Air 200. The aircraft is still in production today and has become the best-selling twin-engine turboprop for corporate use in history. The displayed aircraft is a special long-range version. It operated as a calibration aircraft for navigation aids. It also served the Chilean Air Force. It was delivered to the museum in 2015. The Beechcraft 99A. The prototype of this commuter aircraft flew in July 1966. A total of 164 units were built. The Chilean Air Force bought nine of them. They were used as navigational and instrument trainers. In the 1980s, some aircrafts were modified, installing the necessary equipment for reconnaissance. The P-2 Neptune. The P-2s were built at the end of World War II, entering service in 1947 as the main patrol aircraft of the U.S. Navy. It was widely deployed by NATO under its new designation P-2 and served in the navies of 11 countries during the Cold War. It was deployed in the Vietnam War and by Argentina in the Falkland War. The displayed aircraft was bought by the Chilean operator Heliworks and was used as a firefighter for about five years. It was retired in 2005 and donated to the museum. The Beechcraft Twin Bonanza, it's a small twin-engine aircraft designed by Beechcraft as an executive transport for the business market. They were produced between 1951 and 1960, with a total of 975 aircrafts built. The Chilean Air Force acquired five Twin Bonanzas in 1956. the Douglas C-47A-65. The displayed aircraft belonged to Aerolíneas Argentinas, built in 1944. This particular aircraft belonged to the United States Air Force. The Douglas DC-3 
C. The displayed aircraft was originally built as a C-47 and retrofitted to a DC-3 by Douglas after World War II. It started service with Lund, Chile in March 1954. It was finally retired in 1975. The Cessna 320D Sky Knight. The 320 Sky Knight is a higher performance version of the Cessna 310. It was the first twin engine aircraft built by Cessna after World War II. The Sikorsky S-55 The Chilean Air Force received eight of these helicopters in 1957. In the early 1970s, the remaining S-55s in the Chilean Air Force were upgraded from its radios to turbine engines. The last operational helicopter was donated to the museum in 1989 by the Chilean Air Force. The Sikorsky HSS 1 Seabat. It is an American piston engine military helicopter originally designed as anti submarine warfare for the US Navy. It first flew in March 1954. It served mostly as a medium transport on every continent with the armed forces of 25 countries. It saw combat in Algeria, Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, and throughout Southeast Asia. In Chile, they were retired in 1970 by the Navy. The displayed aircraft was donated to the museum in 1992. The Beechcraft Expediter. The Expediter first flew in 1937. The Chilean Air Force received many variants of the 18 model between the end of World War II and 1960. The displayed aircraft was built in 1955 and delivered to the Chilean Air Force in 1956. The Piper PA-28 Dakota. The displayed aircraft was built in 1981 by NIR. The Piper Dakota was intended as a head-to-head -head competitor with the Cessna Skylane. It featured the same horsepower, roughly the same interior dimensions, comparable performance in every parameter and the benefits of a low wing. The Cessna O2A Skymaster. In late 1966, the United States Air Force selected the O2 to operate as a Ford air controller in Southeast Asia. Peculiar by its twin tail booms and tandem mounted engines, it first flew in 1967. The Skymaster has been operated by 14 air forces, participating in several conflicts. The Chilean Air Force and Navy received 10 of these aircrafts. The NIR T-36 Halcon, or CASA C-101. 
The T-36 is a Chile and Spain joint venture. NIR developed a version of the Spanish Casa 101 Avian Jet Fighter called the T-36 Falcon or Falcon to replace the Cessna T-37 in the advanced trainer and light strike role. It remains in service with the Spanish, Honduras and Jordanian Air Forces. The North Rope F5 E Tiger III. The Tiger III is a supersonic combat aircraft. The Chilean Air Force received two versions, the F5 E and the F5 F, in 1976. The new version still flies with the Chilean Air Force. The F-86 Sabre was the first swept-wing aircraft used by the United States Air Force. It entered production in 1949. It was employed as a frontline fighter in more than 30 Air Forces. The aircraft displayed at the museum was donated by the Air Force of Honduras. The Marcel de So Mystery 4. This swept wing fighter first flew in 1952, entering service in 1954. It was used by the Air Forces of France, Israel and India. It fought in the Pakistani Wars of 1965 and 1971 and the Israeli-Arab Wars of 1956 and 1967. The displayed aircraft at the museum belong to the Israeli Air Force. Let's check out now the main exhibit hall. As you enter, you are greeted by this aircraft hanging upside down. In the main exhibit hall, let's follow the museum's suggested path. I believe that will give us a more immersive experience. The first exhibit is the Dream of Flight. I'll give you a little glimpse of it now, and at the end of the video, there will be a more comprehensive visit to this part of the museum. Moving up to the second floor now. The Bristol M1 monoplane was a British monoplane fighter of the First World War. 
It holds the distinction of being the only British monoplane to reach production during the conflict. Despite its incredible speed, the M1C was viewed with suspicion by the pilots, which is why biplanes prevailed until the 1930s. Chile received these airplanes at the end of 1918 in compensation for the warships that Chile would build in the British shipyards. In April 1919, a Bristol made a flight between El Bosque and Mendoza, and that was the first crossing of the Andes in both directions. The M1C was retired in 1923. The displayed aircraft is a flying replica built in 1988. The Blériot 11 The Blériot is a French aircraft from the pioneer era of aviation. The first example was used by Louis Blériot to make the first flight across the English Channel in a heavier-than-air aircraft, July 25, 1909. It became one of the most successful airplanes of the period before First World War. On September 23, 1910, flying the Blériot, Peruvian aviator Jorge Chavez flew over the Alps. The Gypsy Moth, the DH-60G Gypsy Moth was possibly the most popular aircraft in the 1930s in the general aviation category. It was designed in 1925. In Chile, the Army Air Service acquired the Gypsy Moth for the aviation school in 1927. The aircraft in the museum is a DH-60G built in England in 1929 and acquired by the Chilean Army. This aircraft was delivered to the museum by Línea Aérea Nacional in 1980, where it is preserved and presented with the colors used in 1929 by Aeropostal Line Santiago, Arica. Still on the second floor, you'll find a replica, I think, of a control tower. Back down on the main exhibit hall. Let's go and explore it. The Kingfisher. It's an American catapult launched observation float plane. It was a compact mid-wing monoplane with a large central float and small stabilizing floats. Performance was modest because of its low powered engine. This aircraft could also operate on fixed wheeled tail dragger landing gear. The Kingfisher operated with the Chilean Air Force from 1942 to 1957. The displayed aircraft at the museum was built in 1941 and was retired in 1952. The Tiger Moth. This is a 1930 British biplane. The Royal Air Force operated as a primary trainer aircraft. The Tiger Moth operated until 1951, when most went to the civilian market. The displayed aircraft at the museum 
was built in 1932 and in 1988 was donated to the museum by the Chilean Air Force. The Ayaronca L3 group of observation and liaison aircrafts were used by the United States Armed Air Corps in World War II. It proved to be very useful for its ability to land in tight spaces and low cost of operation. The aircraft at the museum was donated by the Chilean Air Club in 1987. The Royal Aircraft Factory SE-5A Scout. The Scout was developed in England in 1916 as a fighter plane for the First World War. It was one of the fastest aircraft of the war, being stable and relatively maneuverable. It was considered the Spitfire of the First World War. It became one of the best British fighters. Chile received eight of these aircrafts in 1919. The last scout in service was destroyed in an accident in 1928. The aircraft at the museum is a replica built in England in 1992. Now let's take a look at the Miles M2 Hawk Major Saturno. This English sports plane was introduced in 1934. It achieved outstanding performances in tournaments such as the King's Cup and the Mac Robertson Cup. Only 64 aircrafts were ever built. Next here we have the Fairchild PT-19. The PT-19 was manufactured by Fairchild Aircraft in the United States. The PT-19 is a low-wing, fixed landing gear, tandem configuration monoplane used primarily as a trainer. They were also manufactured under license in Canada and Brazil. The closed cockpit version of this aircraft, built in Canada, is called the Cornell. The aircraft displayed at the museum was manufactured under license in Brazil in 1947 and was received by the museum in 1992. Now we have the MBB BO-105. This aircraft was built by, okay, let's try this, Messerschmitt Bolko Blom in West Germany. The BO-105 is a light twin-engine helicopter. It was the first light twin-engine helicopter in the world and the first rotorcraft that could perform maneuvers such as inverted loops. The Carabineros de Chile acquired the first BO-105 models in 1976. The displayed aircraft was retired in 1995 and later donated to the museum. The Bell 47D-1 The Bell 47 is a light single-engine, two-blade main rotor helicopter manufactured by Bell Helicopter. It became the first helicopter certified for civil use on March 8, 1946, and also the first helicopter to fly over the Alps on September 21, 1950. 
On September 1952, a Bell pilot set a world distance record for a piston helicopter by flying 1,959 kilometers nonstop from Hearst, Texas to Buffalo, New York. As of 2018, this record still stands. The Aeris Pachal SA-315B Lama The Lama is a single-engine helicopter developed by Aeris Pachal of France at the request of the Indian Army to operate in high altitudes in the Himalayas. On June 21, 1972, a prototype in France broke the flying altitude record for a rotary wing aircraft by reaching 12,442 meters. The displayed helicopter was acquired in 1979 by the Chilean Army. It was donated to the museum in 2015. The Fokker DR-1 The Fokker DR-1 often known simply as the Fokker triplane, was a World War I fighter aircraft built by, sorry again my German friends, Fokker Flugzeugwerke. The DR-1 saw widespread use in the spring of 1918. It became famous as the aircraft in which Manfred von Richthofen, otherwise known as the Red Baron, gained his last 17 victories in September 1917 and in which he was killed on April 21st, 1918. The aircraft displayed at the museum is a replica built in the United States. It was brought to the museum in 1995. The Consolidated PBY-5A Catalina the Catalina is a flying boat and amphibious aircraft that was produced in the 1930s and 1940s by Consolidated Aircraft. In Canadian service, it was also known as the Canso. It was one of the most widely used seaplanes of the Second World War. It served with every branch of the United States Armed Forces and the Air Forces and Navies of many other nations. The Catalina on display at the museum was built in Canada in 1944. It was donated to the museum in 1997. The Avro 504K. This biplane was widely used during the First World War. It was manufactured by Avro. Production during the war totaled 8,970 aircrafts, making it the most produced aircraft of any kind that served in any military capacity during the war. More than 10,000 were built from 1913 until production ended in 1932. Chile incorporated this aircraft into the military aeronautics and naval services as early as 1919. The displayed aircraft at the museum is a replica built by the English company ADJ. The Urco Urcoop. This airplane first flew in 1937. It was originally manufactured by Urco shortly before the Second World War II. Several other manufacturers continued its production after the war. It was designed to be the safest fixed-wing aircraft that aerospace engineering could provide at the time. The aircraft had no rudder pedals and was flown using only the steering wheel. 
The displayed aircraft at the museum is a 415E built in 1946. It was donated to the museum in 2020 by Mr. Miguel Munoz Horqueira. The Douglas B-26 Invader The A-26 Invader was also designated B-26 between 1948 and 1965. It is an American twin-engine light bomber and ground attack aircraft. Built by Douglas Aircraft Corporation during the Second World War, the Invader also saw service during several major Cold War conflicts. A limited number of highly modified United States Air Force aircraft served in Southeast Asia until 1969. The Chilean Air Force incorporated 40 of these aircrafts between 1954 and 1960. The displayed aircraft was built in 1944 as a TB-26D. The NIR T-35 Pilon Monoplaza. The T-35 Pilon is a Chilean propeller-driven basic train aircraft built by NIR. The manufacturer intended to offer a light attack aircraft. The Land 18. This aircraft is one of the six transport aircrafts manufactured in the National Airline Workshops between 1934 and 1936. It is a Chilean built version of the Fairchild FC 2W. On February 24, 1939, this aircraft had an emergency landing on the desert. In 2005, the aircraft was detected by a Chilean Air Force pilot. It was brought up to the museum's attention, which organized a rescue operation of the wreckage. It was brought to the museum in 2007, after 68 years in the desert. The Yellow Peril The Naval Aircraft Factory N3N was an American tandem seat open cockpit biplane primary trainer built by the Naval Aircraft Factory in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania during the 1930s and the early 1940s. In 1944, during the Second World War, Chile received four of these aircrafts, intended initially as a primary trainers for pilots who would later operate the OS-2A Kingfisher. A 235-horsepower Wright R-760-2 originally powered this aircraft. In the 1950s, it was overhauled and fitted with a Jacobs engine. Now, let's have a look at the North American T-6 Texan. The Texan is an American single-engine advanced trainer aircraft built by North American Aviation. It first flew in 1935. It was widely used from 1939 and during the World War II by all Allied forces in many Latin American countries. During its extensive operational life, it served in the air and naval forces of 56 Allied countries until well into the 1970s. The Chilean Air Force acquired its first aircraft in 1940. The displayed aircraft, a T-6G, was received by the Chilean Air Force in 1949. It came to the museum's collection in 1972. 
the Beechcraft Bonanza H-35. The Bonanza is an American general aviation aircraft introduced in 1947. It is still being produced by Beechcraft and has been in continuous production longer than any other aircraft in history. More than 17,000 Bonanzas of all variants have been built. It is produced in both distinctive V-tail and conventional tail configuration. The displayed aircraft was donated to the museum by Cesar Antonio Santis. Now let's take a look at the Voicing. The Voicing Cellular was the first plane to fly in Chile. That happened on August 21st, 1910. This model was produced between 1908 and 1910 by Voicing Flares in France. It is the first aircraft factory in the world. For Chile, this type of aircraft has a special significance. It is in the Voicing Cellular that a first flight was made by a Chilean in 1909 in France. The Republic P-47 Thunderbolt The Thunderbolt is a World War II era fighter aircraft. It was produced by the American corporation Republic Aviation from 1941 to 1945. When fully loaded, the P-47 weighed up to 8 tons, making it one of the heaviest fighter of the war. In the Chilean Air Force, the P-47 operated between 1946 and 1957. The displayed aircraft, built in 1945, was donated to the museum by the Chilean Air Force. The Learjet 35A The Learjet Model 35 and Model 36 are a series of American multi-role business jets and military transport aircrafts manufactured by Learjet between 1973 and 1983. When used by the United States Air Force, they carried the designation C-21A. Learjet was acquired by Bombardier Aviation in 1990. The Chilean Air Force acquired two Learjets 35A and served for almost 50 years. The De Havilland Vampire The Vampire was one of the world's first jet fighters developed in Great Britain during the Second World War. It was representative of the first generation jet aircrafts. An important percentage of its fuselage was built with plywood, an effort to save metal during wartime. Chile acquired five Vampires in 1953. They were used as advanced trainers and attack aircrafts. It was retired in 1980. The displayed aircraft flew with the Royal Navy. It arrived in Chile in 1973 and retired in 1980. The Vauti BT-13 The Valiant was a World War II American basic trainer aircraft built by Vauti Aircraft for the U.S. Armed Air Corps. It first flew in March 1939. The Chilean Air Force acquired 60 of them in 1943 and operated them until the late 1950s. The displayed aircraft did not operate with the Chilean Air Force. It was used by an airline for advertisement. It was retired and sold in the civilian market in 1944. Let's take a look at the Piper PA-38 Tomahawk. The Tomahawk is a two-seat, fixed tricycle gear general aviation airplane. Built by Piper, it was produced from 1978 to 1982 with 2,484 units built. 
In 2008, it suffered a major accident and total loss. It accumulated 15,007 hours. And it is one of the Tomahawks with more flight hours in the world. The displayed aircraft was first registered in Chile in 1979. The Stearman PT-17 The Stearman PT-17 was a biplane used as a military trainer, designed in 1934 by the Stearman Aircraft Corporation, and later developed as the Boeing Model 75. At least 10,626 aircraft were built in the United States during the 1930s and the 1940s. The aircraft in the museum's collection is a civilian model H-75 built in July 1941 and acquired in 1989 by Mr. Victor Salas Valdez. The Stearman aircraft became a subsidiary of Boeing in 1934. The Globe GC-1B Swift the Swift, also known as the Globe Temco Swift, is a light, two-seat sport monoplane from the post-World War II period. The first Swift was designed in 1940 by R.S. Johnson. Certification was obtained in May 1946. Production began with an 85-horsepower engine. Later, a 125-horsepower engine and other improvements such as aluminum-coated control surfaces were introduced to improve performance, which became the GC-1B. The aircraft displayed a Globe GC-1B was built in 1954. It was donated by the Chilean Aero Club to the museum in 2016. Now let's check outside in the rear part of the museum, the rotunda. The British Aerospace Canberra, the PR-9. The English Electric Canberra is a British first-generation jet-powered medium bomber. The model PR-9 entered service with the Royal Air Force in 1995 and was used until 2006. The Chilean Air Force received three of these aircraft in 1982. They were finally retired in 1995. It was developed by English Electric during the mid to late 1940s. 900 of them were built in the UK and 49 in Australia. They were known as the Martin B-57 Canberra. The Beechcraft 5060 Sea Baron. The Baron is a light, twin-engine piston aircraft designed and produced by Beechcraft. The Baron, when introduced in 1967, it was the fastest Beechcraft, even rivaling the early King Airs sold at the time. Production ended in 1969, with a total of 93 aircrafts being built. The Sipcat Jaguar E. The Sipcat is an Anglo French jet attack aircraft originally used by the British Royal Air Force and the French Air Force in the close air support and nuclear strike role. It was originally conceived in the 1960s as a jet trainer with light ground attack capability. They were produced between 1968 and 1981. It's still in use by the Indian Air Force. The displayed aircraft was operated by the French Air Force as a 7-HK. 
it was donated to the museum by the French Air Force. I didn't find any information on these airplanes. I believe they are Cessna's T-37 tweets. Let me know in the comments if I am mistaken. Now we have the Grumman A-Tube-16B Albatross. Built by Grumman, the A-Tube-16 Albatross is a large twin radio engine amphibious seaplane it entered service in 1949 and it was delivered to the United States Air Force, United States Navy and the U.S. Coast Guard as a search and rescue aircraft. In 1958, a new version, the HU-16B, was developed for the anti-submarine role. It was fitted with a big radar in the nose, armaments and specialized equipment. It was delivered to NATO and to South American countries. Chile received three Dash 16s in 1958 that eventually were modified to the 16B. Later, six more of these aircraft were added to the Chilean Air Force. The aircraft display was built in 1951. It's a Dash 16B. It served with the Chilean Air Force from 1968 to 1990. One of my favorites, the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II. The F-4 Phantom II is an American two-seat, twin-engine, all-weather, long-range supersonic jet interceptor and fighter bomber, originally developed by McDonnell Douglas for the U.S. Navy. Proving highly adaptable, it entered service with the U.S. Navy in 1961, before it was adopted by the U.S. Marines and the U.S. Air Force. The Phantom production ran from 1958 to 1981 with a total of 5,195 aircrafts built, making it the most produced American supersonic military aircraft in history, cementing its position as a signature combat aircraft of the Cold War. Also, the F-4 was extensively used during the Vietnam War. The displayed aircraft at the museum was built in 1964. This aircraft fought in Vietnam while being assigned to the 555 Tactical Fighter Squadron, 8th Tactical Fighter Wing, based in Yubon, Thailand. On June 2, 1967, it shot down a MiG-21, using its AIM-9B Sidewinder missile. It was donated to the museum by the United States Air Force. The Mirage Pantera Pantera was a locally upgraded Chilean Air Force Mirage. It was made possible with Israeli assistance. In 1984, the Chilean Air Force initiated with help from the Israeli company IAI an updating program to give the Mirage 50 new capabilities. The modified Mirage 50 received the name Pantera. No info on this one either. Looks to me like a Banderanti, but I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments. This is another aircraft. I couldn't find any information on it. Please let me know in the comments if you know what type of aircraft this one is. Thank you.
Thank you. 